My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the two set ultimate legends coming out for you guys tomorrow starting off with Mr. T.O. So yes tomorrow we will have T.O. in the game. 95 speed on this man actually a little bit faster than I thought he was going to be for his ultimate legend which Kind of sounds a little bad, but I really didn't think they give much good speed at all. 97 jumping, 95 catching with a 99 catching traffic, 95 spectacular catch, 94 short route running, 95 medium, and of course a 91 deep route run. So if you are to get this man, I definitely recommend you put go deep on him so you can get that spec catch up and so you can get that deep route running up because that is going to be very big. Besides that, I actually think this card is pretty solid. Now, in terms of how does he stack up versus the other wide receivers in the game, though? Uh, yeah, we're going to take a look here. So, compare him to Calvin Johnson, right? Who, of course, is 6'5", and he's currently only 229,000 coins per average, which, of course, on the weekends, usually a little bit cheaper than that. But you guys see his stats. 94 speed, 95 acceleration. So, he is one speed slower than 99 overall T.O. Catching-wise, though. He has 95 catch, 96 catch in traffic, and a 98 spec catch. Compared to 95 catch, 99 catch in traffic, and a 95 spectacular catch. Now, of course, Calvin having the little bit of height advantage on him as well is kind of a good height advantage. I mean, two inches quite a bit when it comes to ultimate team. And then, of course, you can see the jumping as a 97 for Terrell Owens, or Terrell Owens, 94 short, 95 medium, and a 91 deep compared to 93 short, 92 medium, but a 97 deep route running with a 98 jumping. So, which one do you want? Do you want a little bit more spec catch, or do you want a little bit more catch in traffic? I will say this. Personally, I think I'd rather go with Calvin Johnson just because of the fact you can get, you know, the big jump ball receiver. He's six foot five, 94 compared to 95 speed, one speed at wide receiver. It can be kind of big, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, but you can still get both these guys to 99 speed with the right chem boost and everything with John Madden, uh, with Sprinter, with powering them up. You can still get them both to 99 speed. And I think Calvin, you might have to actually get a little bit of team chemistries on him to get to 99 speed. But still, both these guys are very, very good cards. If you can get them both, I don't see why you want it. But I think that Calvin, in my opinion, I I honestly might rather have Calvin just because I personally like to chuck the ball deep a little bit more. That's just my opinion. But we also have Keyshawn Johnson, who I actually think is a pretty fair comparison as well. If you take a look here, he does have 94 speed, which, again, is a little bit lower than TO's 95 speed. But he does have 98 catch, 98 catch in traffic with a 97 spec catch. So he's got better catch, one less catch in traffic, but he has way better spectacular catch. Now, in terms of route running for TO as well, you're looking at 94, 95, and 91. Compared to Keyshawn Johnson, 97, 98 and 94 deep route running with a 96 jumping and again he is a little bit taller at six foot four so i mean this is probably the closest comparison i think in terms of wide receivers you're going to get to to but i think he's actually still a little bit better than to in my opinion plus he's only going for 466k to might actually be around 400k or so so maybe to will be like slightly cheaper but in my opinion i think i'd rather go with Keyshawn johnson just because he does have you know the spec catch he has the height and overall i mean i think he's the better receiver with all the rounding and stuff is what it is but if you just want to laugh really quickly let's compare randy moss to him so this is both 299 overall wide receivers obviously speed wise randy moss destroys him and height he also has an inch on him jumping is a 99 spec catch is already 99 catching's 98 catching traffic is a 96 and then of course you have the route running stats of randy moss it's not even close now the big thing is going to be to's run block because obviously owens is one of the best run blockers like of all time basically so his, his run block should be extremely, extremely good. I'm just curious to see what it's going to be. This is something to pay attention to, though. So, Tio on his last card is 95 overall legend. Take a look at his traits. Clutch is no. Covers ball, yes, for all hits. He does fight for extra yards. He makes the aggressive catches and he makes the rat catches, but he doesn't make possession catches. He drops open passes. He doesn't make sideline catches and 
he doesn't have a high motor. So unless this changes for his 99 overall card, which I don't think it will, you really have to pay attention to those traits when you're actually looking to get T.O. The other set legend for tomorrow, though, I gotta say I am very excited for 99 overall Rod Woodson. This is a fan favorite card literally every single year, and I think this card should be absolutely incredible. And you guys see from his stats, he's got 97 speed, 98 acceleration, 98 agility, 94 jumping, 98 play rank, 97 man, 97 zone, and he's got an 87 press. Now, honestly, I don't think a lot of people press this year. I don't think you should press at all. Uh, a lot of people also have Deion Sanders who cannot press at all. So I wouldn't press these guys. But in my opinion, Rod Woodson is going to be the best cornerback in the game. Strictly because if you just get him right and you power him up, he's going to have 98 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, with a 95 jump and he's 6 foot tall. He's going to have 99 play rank, 98 man, 98 zone. You put Lockdown Ken on him, he's going to have 99 man, 99 zone coverage. And then, of course, you literally just had to put one tier of Sprinter, and you have him at 99 speed. So he's going to have 99 speed, 99 Excel, 99 agility, 99 play rec, 99 man, and zone. And Rod Woodson is one of the best run stuffers in the game. He's going to be one of the best block shedding cornerbacks in the game. He's going to be one of the best hitting cornerbacks in the game. Yeah. Rod Woodson is about to be the best cornerback in the game. It's not even close. Comparing him to Night Train Lane, I mean, Night Train Lane has 92 speed. It's, it's not even close to Night Train Lane. 94 Excel, 93 Man, 95 Zone, 96 Press. Of course, Night Train does have 92 Hit Power and a 78 Block Shed, which I'm going to be very curious to see. What is his Block Shed? What is his Hit Power? And if we want to compare him to another cornerback who just came out in Mel Blunt, Mel Blunt has 93 Speed with 95 Excel, 93 Man, 97 Zone. He does have really good Press in 95, but he also has a 71 Block Shed and an 85 Hit Power. So then the question becomes... How does his block shed hit power compare to Mel Blunt? Now, if we take a look here at 95 overall Rod Woodson, you guys can see, obviously, the 99 got a big stat upgrade, but his block shed was 57 with a 73 hit power. I'm expecting this Rod Woodson's block shed to be at least, like, what, 65 or more, I'd imagine, and his hit power should be around 80, which, again, is still going to be one of the higher block shedding and hit power cornerbacks now in terms of traits clutch is yes high motor is yes linebacker style doesn't matter uh he also has a big hitter doesn't have strip ball but he has play ball in the air aggressive which is exactly what you want to see so definitely a pretty solid card i just hope his block shed and hit power is a little bit higher like a lot of bit higher honestly than his 95 overall because 57 blocks should be kind of disappointing to see even though that's not like the worst cornerback in the game that's not very good he should have at least like 65 70 blocks should be considered one of the best now something else to keep you guys eye on is going to be chris harris now chris harris is going for about 480k he's got 95 speed 95 acceleration with a 99 agility 99 man and 99 zone which is just crazy you don't even need any chem boost to get those stats up but he also has a 67 block shed and a 65 hit power and also a 92 pursuit and a 66 tackling so the question is will his block shed be better I'm not too sure. And of course, 97 speed and 98 acceleration for Rod Woodson definitely beats out Chris Harris in terms of speed, but with certain chemistry boosts, you can get them both up to 99 speed and 99 acceleration. So then it strictly comes down to the block shit and hit power because both of these guys are going to have 99 agility, 99 man, 99 zone, six feet tall. And Chris Harris as well is... 5 tenths. You do have a couple of inches there, but then it comes down to block shed and hit power. Is Rod Woodson going to officially become the best cornerback in the game? Because Chris Harris right now is the only 99 overall corner. And seeing how Night Train Lane had 78 block shed, I'm really, really hoping that Rod Woodson has somewhere close to 70 block shit because that would make him really really good but these are the two ultimate legends that we have coming out tomorrow i'm not sure who the limited time card is going to be but of course that would be revealed sometime tomorrow and once these ultimate legends actually go into packs tomorrow morning i will be dropping a video going over them and opening up some packs trying to pull the limited time card as well as these two set cards but hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment i will actually be dropping another video for you guys a little bit later tonight going over some more Madden 20 news that we have. And of course, if you guys haven't seen my other videos from today, make sure you check them out and make sure you check out that Kyler Murray gameplay because that gameplay was absolutely incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed.
I'll see you guys next time.